What's up everyone? Today I'm going to tell you about a boutique cool mountain bike component brand that's doing really cool things in the industry, making kick-ass products and giving back and supporting to kids riding bikes. One of the things I absolutely love about the bicycle industry is the amount of brands we have to choose from, and that's component brands and bike brands, apparel brands, all of the above, um, especially the amount of like cool, small, boutique, rare brands out there. Uh, one we're gonna talk about today that's doing really cool stuff, making good products, and just, I think, kind of pushing the industry forward, doing the right things in terms of philanthropy, um, is PNW, Pacific Northwest. This company is run by Aaron and Emily. They are a couple married couple, mountain bikers, they have a dog, they have some, a team with them. They're kind of like the quintessential amazing mountain bike couple. Just look at these adorable pictures. So at this point, PNW has been around for quite some years now, making excellent stuff, most notably their dropper post lineup and their dropper lever. We've talked about those a bunch of different times, so make sure to check those out. Those kind of put them put them on the map in terms of like really cool products. Um, they keep coming out with more new stuff. Most notably, the thing I wanna talk about a lot today, um, they're dropping some really cool new grips, but also their handlebar. This has been out for a little while now, and it's a product that I think is actually really pushing the industry forward, not in terms of just, you know, so it's a great product, absolutely, and we'll dive into some of the specs of it later, but what they're doing in terms of philanthropy with this product. So they worked with a local ripper, Kyle Warner. Check that guy out. to develop just the perfect bar that he was looking for at a price point PNW wanted to hit. One of PNW's mission is to just make really good components that aren't crazy and expensive and overpriced like a lot of the stuff in the industry is. Yeah, just big man. You can't afford it. I got four dollars. Um, but the coolest thing about this bar, the story behind it is that 5% of all sales are going back to NICA. So NICA, National Interscholastic Cycling Association, um, you've probably heard about them already. They're putting on uh, basically middle school and high school mountain bike racing and just baking the sport of mountain biking into schools all over North America. It's amazing. It's something that I didn't have growing up and it's been so cool to see that organization, their nonprofit, just see them grow and expand and touch more schools all across North America and just get kids into the sport of mountain biking, racing, in love with it, all of that. So I absolutely love the idea that PNW had here where they wanted to develop a great bar, great product, great price point, but have 5% of all the sales go back to NICA to support the kids out there falling in love with the sport of mountain biking. And for me, mountain biking's done a ton. It's kind of like, you know, drove my whole life to where it is today. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. And so I absolutely love what Nike is doing and the fact that PNW decided to do a little give back thing with Nike. Um, really cool. So to dive into some of the specs of the bars. So the range bar, KW edition, 69 bucks. It's a 31.8 alloy bar. It's 2014 alloy coming in at 334 grams, 780 millimeters wide, five degree up sweep, 10 degree back sweep, 30 millimeter rise. And again, most important thing, 5% of the sales of these bars go straight to Nike. The reason PNW and Kyle Warner chose the 2014 alloy is because from what they found, it is lighter than the 6061 and more supple than the 7075 alloy, which a lot of bars are made out of. So they were really going for just that sweet spot in terms of a bar, just a good alloy bar good proper specs that make sense, good width, rise, up sweep, back sweep, price point, all that sort of stuff. Um, one thing I absolutely love about this bar that I think a lot of people miss these days is they're putting little raised traction elements that kind of bake into the logo and the graphics of the bar, but these things are grippy, so they hold your grips in place, they hold your controls in place, and you don't have to over torque them to get the things not to slip, and that's a pretty common problem on a lot of bars, so absolutely love that they did that. Love the sort of logos and look of these things, and yeah, that's the story behind the bars, let's dive into the new grips they've also just launched. So 
So this is the new Loam Grip, and in PNW fashion, they want to hit a price point that's really good. So it's a $19 grip, um, lock on, of course. It does have a three mil Allen head, which I love. Um, I'm glad 2.5 mil Allen heads have been disappearing on all kinds of lock on grips because that was just too small of an Allen to get the right torque, in my opinion. Um, it has a nice wide clamp and diameter, so it doesn't spin. Um, PNW seems to put, I think, just like thoughtful design into everything they're doing in terms of like exactly what they're trying to hit, and they're not trying to make this huge breadth of selection of components, but they're just trying to make really good ones with really thoughtful sort of intentional design. And that's what they did with this grip. It's a bit of a thinner grip. Um, they do have a different sort of uh, ribbing right here in the middle that gives your palm support and stuff. And yeah, I mean, it's just an awesome, good working grip at 19 bucks. Comes in orange, red, black, teal, gray. Um, it's 133.5 in terms of overall width or height, whatever you want to call that. That's a little bit longer than a traditional grip like an ODI. So I like that too. A lot of people are have a big space between their grips and their controls. So it's nice to see like a little bit longer grip these days. I'm glad they're addressing that. But yeah, awesome new product, 19 bucks. PNW is just doing what they do best and having thoughtful design into their products, coming in at good price points that people want to pay and can afford and just get good quality components from them. So yeah, that's the story behind the PNW grips. It's awesome to see them just make more and more cool stuff over the years and continue to grow their company. I love cool small boutique mountain bike brands. Um, whether that's bike brand or component brand or anything like that. I just love supporting little guys um, and big guys too, but it's just cool. We have such a good choice of different brands and just amazing product in the bike world right now that has good companies and good people behind it. Uh, when I first hung out with Aaron and Emily of PNW, it was out in Whistler at a uh, conference and ride sort of festival we were at out there. And it was just awesome. They were just the coolest, nicest people. And I think something for me that I've always gravitated towards is like trying to ride and support brands with people that I really like and know behind the brand. Um, and PNW totally fits that bill. So killer to see them coming out with more and more kick-ass products. And yeah, there's that. Let us know down in the comments what you think of all of this. And if you think more mountain bike brands should be doing cool give back things to NICA or other organizations like PNW is doing with their KW bar. See you guys in the next one. Loam grips. Find your loam. There's no loam in Southern California, man.